Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video today. We're back in Car Mechanic. It's been a little while. The last time we played was when we built this F40, which is, um, as you can see, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So what we're going to do is let's move this into my parking. So it's just, just gone. It's done and dusted. And we can move on to the next thing. And the next thing I wanted to move on is going to be a new junker. So what we need to do is we actually need to go to the junkyard and look for something to build. So let's head over there. We're back in the best junkyard in the world, baby. So let's take a look what you got for me this time. It's like Russian roulette. You really don't know what you're going to get. So I can already tell what this is. It's a, it's an Audi. Uh, we already built this. I can tell by the headlights. This is an, probably A5 or RS5, right? RS5. Uh, we already built one of these, so we're going to totally go past that. We already uh, built one for episodes, so... We're going to skip it. Looking forward here, I'm seeing... Ooh! Ooh! A, a, okay. I was going to say Demon. No, it's a Hellcat. Okay, this is still pretty clean. God, that engine is beautiful. Look at that engine. That thing must look absolutely mad in real life. Like, being... <laughs> that engine is huge. It's like bigger than my car. This thing is sweet as hell. Should we build this? I mean, it looks like... God, it's missing a lot of stuff. Is it, like, gutted? Whoa, where's... Um... <laughs> Uh, where's the steer? It's missing a lot of stuff, so I think we'll pass on this. Because it does look like we're not going to be able to do anything with that, because it's missing everything. Huh. Okay, we'll keep on going. Here's another American muscle car. This is the this is the one that I never know how to... St okay, it's the Cadillac. The Cadillac CTS. I, I, this one, this one I know the least. I don't know, is, is, is Cadillac like the lowest one? Uh, they correct me if I'm wrong or something. So it it probably be like the top three. Obviously, would be like the Ford, the Dodge, and the uh, uh, Camaro, right? And then after that, it'd be like the Cadillac, or maybe I don't know. I, I guess it depends on the person. It's just looking. But I mean, this thing looks sweet as fuck as well. This thing's nice. Really, do not see any of these in the UK. I don't think I have. Have I seen Cadillac anything? I don't think I have. These ones, these ones are like super rare, dude. Looks like we've got a nice little hot rod over here. What is this? This is a uh, a Ford Dirty. It's a Ford Dirty. All right, this thing's pretty nice. Maybe we could build that. So far, nothing's really caught my eye yet. So let's sell for something nice at the end over here. Oh, I can already tell what that is. I can already tell that we're building that. But let me just make sure there's nothing down here, and there is something down here. And that is a... What is that? Can I make it out what it is? Okay, from this side, I can't make out what it is because there's a lot of parts missing. What about the front? Oh, it's an Evo. All right, it's an Evo. We're not building that because I think maybe we've done an Evo or I can't quite remember. But we're doing this. Looks like this is a... It's a rocket body for sure. NSX, right? Let's have a look. Hell yeah, dude. Honda NSX rocket bunny. Yeah, we're building this, baby. Look at this. This thing's gorgeous. As f Wait, let's just make sure we can... Everything works, sir. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, how much is? 26,000. This thing's gorgeous, dude. We're so building this. Look at it. Yes, we found the build. We found it. We're doing this. Let's purchase it, and we're going to start the build. So, buy car. Uh, yes, we're going to go to garage. And uh, let's head home and start the build. Here she is. Wow, is this thing low to the ground. This thing would be a pain to get in and out. This thing is like tiny, tiny. Look at it. It's in an interesting color. I might keep that color because that's an interesting one. I quite like it. If we take the engine cover off, do we see? Oh, there she is. Very nice. It's a V6 in there, so that's cool. Oh, yeah. Let's just um, let's start building to it. I don't really want to waste any time. So uh, we're going to kind of move the car. Here we go. Move it. Uh, we're just going to go car lift B because that's, I think, in the middle. Hell, yeah. So... Uh, First things we're going to do, we're going to do what we normally do. Uh, we're going to take this welder over here once the game calms down. We're going to take that uh, and the cleaner. And we're going to instantly use these because uh, that's the best we can do. Cleans it up. Use this as well. And let's remove both of these equipment because we're not going to have to need it again. Look at it. It looks freaking cool. Uh, game's having a little bit of seizure here, which is not good. Uh, let's take this rusty door off just so we can... It's missing a steering wheel as well, which kind of looks weird. Missing a seat. The interior looks pretty interesting there. Is that like a screen on there? Can I sit in this? Why does that dashboard look fairly modern? Like, is that like a... It gotta be like a custom dashboard right there, because it kind of looks like a... Like a tablet or something in there, so that's super cool. Let's, uh... Can I get out of this? There we go. Okay, so if we have a look... 
this one want. Oh, there's... Oh, it's at the back. I was being stupid. I don't know what I was looking <laughs> Never mind. Uh, it's not connected to anything, is it? Oh, no, I think it is. The, uh, you can see there that the axle is... Okay, so we have to lift this. And we're going to chuck the back out in here. So what by the looks of things we need to do is we just need to take this stuff out. And that will give us the... Here we go. Take out the drive axle. And that's all I think we'll need to do. Because the rest is kind of missing here for this car. And uh, we should be good. I think this might be one of the best builds we do yet. I don't know. I come, I'm kind of feeling pretty confident about this thing. This thing is a gorgeous car. Uh, it's a beautiful find. Uh, also, we need to take out the gearbox first as well. Because it doesn't let us take out the engine if the gearbox is in. And... It's missing everything else, so we're totally fine. Let's let's yoink this sucker out. Move this to the uh, car. Uh, come on, game. I don't know why you're doing this to me. Let's pull her out. There you go. Engine is out, so let's see what we needed to build. It was a... Uh, is it ice? Oh, no, it's a V6. Okay, V6, uh, double overhead casket, AKZ. I don't know what the AKZ stands for, so do let, let me know in the comments down below. What does the AKZ stand for? Is it AK-40Z, dude? I don't know. That was a terrible joke. Let's build it. So it's a V6. We're looking for a V6. Not that one. Uh, V6, V6. Uh, AKZ at the end. Did I miss it? I went past it? What the f... That's a V6 uh, AQE. That's the wrong one as well. Right here. This is what we're looking for. V6... There's a few of them. They're all like different stuff, like CHG, AKZ. It's got to be something for a different build. Because look, you can see this one looks a bit. Oh wait, I think it's because of rotary, right? I don't know. I think it's a road. Got to be something to do with the rotary engine, surely. Uh, anyway, uh, some somebody will let me know, and they'll be like, "Oh my god, you're such a non-car guy. Oh my god, I can't watch this. You're not a car guy. Oh my god." Yeah, sorry, dude. Okay, so I think I have most of the parts here. We bought a few of them, and on a lot of parts I have bought extra. If you remember, I kind of went overboard with a lot of the parts. So we don't need to get, like, pistons and, and, and stuff of that nature, because I think we have all of that stuff. And I bought some of the special parts we needed for this um, engine here. Looks like I need to buy some rollers, because I don't have any of those. The one thing that I could use, I don't have any of them. Great. Never mind, though. We're just going to add all the parts here. Nothing. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell happened there? Okay, here we go. So far, we're doing pretty well. We're kind of going through it all. Uh, I'm going to flip this bitch sideways. Also, I, I might as well, actually, I might as well buy a pulley. And I need a roller A and a roller A. I might as well get some roller Bs too. Here we go. Let's add these. I bought a bunch of them. I think I bought like 10 of each roller because uh, that's 20 items. So I don't know if the game's gonna, gonna, not, not going to be a big fan of that. But I thought I do use them pretty often. So why the hell not? So now that that is done, let's... Flip this engine on its side. There she is, beautiful, beautiful little thing. And uh, now we can add, uh, we can add. Uh, wait, I don't need that. Here we go. Okay. Now we can add these, the pistons. And I should have a ton of these, so no issue here. Let's just take our time and add them because it takes a little bit of a time here. In goes the last piston. There we go. Just six this time. Not as many as last time. Uh, last one was quite a lot. So let's add these as well. I might as well just add these because I have these parts here too. i got a bunch of these. And uh, we'll be able to finish it all up pretty goddamn quick. I got the engine building pretty streamlined because I bought a ton of the parts extra. So uh, things like this, rod caps and stuff. I think I have a bunch of these as well. So we shouldn't uh, worry about anything now. Crankshaft bearing caps. I don't think I have many of the... I have ton. Okay. Time to add them all. Here's the last rod cap. And then after this, we just got to put the oil pan and we are done with the ass. It's a quick job. Nothing too crazy. In and out from, from the bootay. Rotate this son of a gun back up. And now we can add the uh, freaking uh, engine heads on. Here's this side. Let's add this. Wait a minute. Did I buy two sides? I hope I have bought the correct other side here. This is going to be embarrassing if it's not. Oh, no, we're good. I guess I just had two extra. I don't know why about two. That's kind of weird. Next thing I want to do is we're going to add this roller and we're going to finish up with... Um, right, we're going to finish up maybe with the belts here because if we, if we add this and we add this side as well, we might be able to finish up with the front of the engine with the belts. 
Here we bloody go cam gear on, and does that give me anything? There she goes, a, a nice little uh, belt appeared here. So I think we have this one, there you go. Throw that in there, and uh, look at this, I told you. I told you we'll be done with this. Belt tensioner, I have a bunch of these, I have a ton of these, so... I have all the parts. This is super easy. So far, so easy. So here's the timing cover. Completely on. We threw that on. We got a uh, roller. Probably a roller. I thought it was going to be a B. No, it's A. And then we have a belt here, which I do think I have as well. We need something here. Roller B. Bam. Done. Bada bing, bada boom. The front is done. Also, I need to put a oil filter here, which I do not have. So I need a uh, I-6. All right. Uh, oil filter i6 buy one of these little little things boom boom so far so easy we're flying through this uh, at the back i can add the thermostat let's get that added too and i think i have two of these man oh, i have tons of these manifolds let's add this on the side as well and then we just have the top of the engine to work on which is going to be super easy as well nothing too crazy there both of the sides are done as far as uh manifolds go Let's add, uh, I guess we can add spark plugs. I know I have a ton of these. No issue there. This will take me a little bit of a while because there's a few parts that are quite tedious here. Going to add the ignition coils as well because, well, I have all of these parts. I'm almost done with one side here. I think I might have all the covers here for it. So that'll be freaking super cool. We're flying through this build. We're about almost done with the engine here. Let me see if I, there we go. Add this side. This side is completed. Which is freaking great. So now we can add uh, the, uh, here we go, intake manifold. Boom. And then I think we get to t uh, put the throttle in there as well, right at the end of it. There we go. Bam. And that is done. This side is completed. Fantastic. Super, super quick build with the engine here. And we just need to do the same here for it. I need to add the um, spark plugs. Ignition coil, and we need to add these. I think I need to buy another one of these. I just have... For some reason, I had a weird number of three of these. I, I don't really know. So we're almost done with the engine. I need to buy another camshaft bearing. Uh, so let's get one of those. I think I needed this one. Uh, hopefully. It's going to be awkward if I needed the uh, other one. Let's buy one of these. Was it at an A1? Oh, wait. Wait a minute. I completely went ahead. I need a uh, bearing. I need this. So then on top of this goes, uh, or maybe we need a B one, we're about to find out. So we put this thing first, and then on this goes, I think, what I just bought. So did I buy the right uh, one? I think so. There she is. Great. Okay, engine done. That was easy. That was easy mode, dude. There she goes. Everything, I think, is done. Let's... um. I have a one little last kind of quick look over, but I think she's freaking beautifully done. Perfect. Uh, let's uh, take this off and chuck her in there. Install this beautiful new engine, and she's done. Move this crane equipment out of the way, and hell yeah, she's done. Now we do need to, I want to, Jesus Christ game. I don't know why this game is having like, I keep saying every episode, I'm trying not to talk about it too much, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know why game's like dying here. We're gonna take that apart and take that. Uh, are we missing some parts here at all? So there's just a battery and air filter and stuff. I think I might have some of these though, actually. There you go. Look at that. What about the air filter? Yep. Didn't even need to buy this. This cover. Luckily, I have one. And what about clips? I have just one clip. Uh, I need to buy some clips. What the hell? Of all the things, I thought I would have a ton of these clips, but I don't really have them. I'm going to buy a few. We're going to buy ten. We're going to use three now. I'll have, like, seven left, which is an awkward number. I'm probably not going to need seven, but it should be aight. It should be aight. Here we go. Throw that on there. Throw that. Battery. Do we have... We need to charge that. I'll go charge that. Uh, let's add some of these parts here. I actually need to lift it. Oh, damn it. Okay. Let's charge the battery first, because then at least it's done. That's a really quick charge of the battery. I wish my phone charged that quick. Uh, now we can just throw this on. I haven't bought a battery since somebody pointed out. I was like, they were like, Alana, why the hell do you not charge your battery? I was like, oh, that's totally right. Why do I not charge my battery? But now we're under the car. Let's pretty much just strip it all apart and uh, put it back together. Should be a fairly simple build, actually. It doesn't look like there was much going on at the back. Uh, I kind of like these rear engine cars. Normally have super easy builds at the back. 
Uh, the front looks a little bit more... Okay, uh, f the front looks a little bit more busier. But whenever you get a car that's like rear-engined, uh, the the like back suspension area normally is a really quick build, like a super breeze build, which is freaking great. Okay, uh, I know I can add, I can add the fuel tank already. Let's just chuck that in there, throw the fuel pump on there too. Uh, let's see, do I have any of these? I need to fix those. What about this? Did I buy? Okay, here we go. Let's just add this already, just so it know it's there. And I need a uh, starter somewhere, right? Here you go. go. Throw this, because that's kind of hidden. You'll forget about that. Let's throw that in there. What about these? Did I buy any of these? Yep, there's one. Rear muffler F. And is that another rear muffler F? Yep, I need two rear muffler Fs. Actually, there's another one here. Sneak a little exhaust pipe here as well. Boom. Alright, that's there. And just need rear muffler F. So let's just get two of those. Here we go. Rear muffler F. We need two of those. And that is done as well. So we're kind of multitasking here. Taking it apart and putting it together already. Boom. There she is. Gorgeous. Okay, let's take this side apart as well. And then we'll go try to repair a couple of parts. Uh, we probably can't repair everything. But, you know, at least we'll get something done. To the table we go. Let's repair a couple of these parts. Not everything will probably get repaired, but let's do it. So some parts that I do know what I need to buy is the suspension. And it was, I think it was a double, uh, I think it was this one. And I'm going to buy two of those. We're going to buy two front springs and two caps already. And then we're just going to use this to join the parts. I believe this was what it was. Um, hopefully it was. I mean, shouldn't that thing be in like air though? That'd be freaking cool. It should be running on air. Air suspension, you could lower it, you can, you know, raise it and stuff like that. That'd be freaking cool as hell. But I think we should be fine here. As you can see, it's looking pretty nice. I'm going to take this rear bumper out because that thing looks nasty. Same with this as well. We might as well remove that. <laughs> kind of looks really weird now. Right then, let's uh, let's build this little thing back up. And uh, hopefully we will uh, can fly through this build and uh, not be too far behind. So let's see if I got the right one. I didn't get the right one because this was the rear one. I got the front one. God, I hope the front one... <laughs> I got it all mixed up. I hope... Oh god, this is embarrassing. So we need the rear one and then we need uh, rear springs and a cap. There you go. Oops. I did an oopsie. Sorry. Well, at least I got the front one's done, right? Hopefully that this this car uses those, otherwise I have two spare parts that I'm not gonna use, which is gonna suck. Roity poo, here she is. Let's try her now, right? Did we get the right one? Yes, there you go. Great. Super easy so far. Let's keep on rolling through this. We're almost done with this side. Brake this brake pads, I have a bunch of those. Same with wheel hubs. Wait a minute, no, I don't have a bunch of shitty wheel hubs. Okay. That's not what I wanted. Just purchased a bunch of these. Here we go. Okay, we should be good for a couple of them. Let's finish this car up. We're almost done. Uh, next thing is the wheels. We'll do the wheels afterwards. Let's do this side as well before we move on. Uh, and then we should be fine. I think there's a couple of things I'm missing here, though. Like this uh, this uh, upper suspension arm. So let's buy one of those. I have the parts I need now. I think we should be able to finish the ass of this thing. And also, the wheels are pretty interesting. They're like the gold, um, uh, you'll see. I can't remember what, God, my mind's gone blank here. You'll see. The wheels, I think, are kind of weird, but I like them. So, I think we're going to keep the wheels that this car was originally with. So, let's just add these parts here. Brakes, wheel hub, uh, drive axle. Here we go. Boom, boom. Uh, brake calibers. Boom, boom. And uh, that is it. That is done. It is done. So you can see it was a Zonda rear, which is pretty cool. So let's go. Uh, wait, I need to buy some of these. Okay, so we're gonna go to uh, wheels. So there were they were the gold ones. So there were right at the bottom here. Uh, there were these ones. So these are front and these are rear. So we're gonna get the rear ones. Uh, and the size is pretty nuts on this. Well, actually, it's not that bad. It's uh, two of these size. Um, 17 et is a hundred but which is kind of bad here we can only go to 50 that is a problem here that is a real problem i don't know if that's gonna look good now shit i guess we're gonna find out and what is even more of a problem i sold the 
I sold the wheels I took off it, so this could this oh no oh no. Uh this gonna look real bad, boys. Uh I need some tires. Uh for tires, we're gonna go with um I think we're just gonna go with something like maybe like race tire or something. Let's go with the most expensive tire, I guess. Which would be this one, race tire B, so we're gonna go with that. Now the tire we can get correct, but Oh no, this is gonna be bad. I don't really want to do this, guys. I kind of feel like I just messed up. The wheels aren't gonna be right because it's just like the limitation of the game. I keep. Ah, this is gonna annoy me. Oh, it's gonna look so dumb. I hope it isn't. Please, whatever you do, don't make it look dumb. So why not wheel is getting balanced? Let's put this uh, first one on here. Oh god, here we go. Please let it be good. Please, for whatever you do, let me just. Okay. Oh no, you can see that it's not flush with the body there. Yeah, it's not that nice. I mean, it's not that bad, but the camber is not there. Fuck. All right. Well, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it'd be it, it could be even worse, but it's not right. It's not right. Uh, that's kind of sucks. I really need to change the game, like, I th all you guys keep telling me I can apparently edit, like, the wheels to make it so, like, I can have unlimited wheels, because the game limits, like, how wide you can make the tires, how big you can make the tires, what kind of combinations you can make with the tires, and I keep always forgetting to sort it out. Like, God, God, that really annoys me. That's kind of annoyed me, that really has annoyed me. This is going to be a perfect car, but then you can see that, God, it, the camera, it, it, it's sitting stupid, man. It looks so stupid. Ah, oh, that's really pissed me off. That has, I'll tell you what. Um, well, let's just finish up with the car. We might as well finish it now. I'm pretty sure I have some of these brake things. There you go. What about the radiator? Might have one. There you go. Uh, is that it? Do I not need a fan for this or anything? I guess not. All right. Sure. Uh, maybe we can revisit this. Maybe I'll finish this car. Uh, and then the next episode, I'll, um, I'll try to sort out the wheels and stuff like that somehow. Uh, I, I need to look up, like, maybe... I, don't, I have no idea how to do it, by the way, so I need to look up, like, a guide for how to do it. Because I don't really know how. But I promise you, I have seen a lot of you guys shouting at me, saying, you know, there's a way of doing it. I'm being stupid. So, uh, I just need to open up my eyes, I guess. Oh, we've been busy over here in the uh, red line garage. We have been very busy. Everything's taken off, so now let's go to the workbench. We're gonna fix everything up. Well, not everything. Hopefully we get a, a good amount of these repaired. Definitely some of them didn't get repaired, but before we continue, I wanted to check something out. I'm in the wrong thing. I need to go to my inventory. And let's have a look at the wheels. Yeah, look, see, these wheels have ET 100. Okay. So what we can do is, dude, I could have, I could have, this could have been... I'm so annoyed because what we can do is we can take these wheels apart, right? And I can buy the correct tires. The tires aren't not the problem. God, I'm so... This has really annoyed me. Because what you can do is... So we take these wheels apart, right? Let's separate this one as well. And we can repair these wheels. If you go to the workbench, look, you can repair them. And that's a perfectly perfect wheel that I can add onto the car. And I can get the tires that fit this thing. And uh, let's hopefully repair this one. 99% chance. There she is. Uh, I could have done the same for the rear, but I didn't think about the... That's so annoying, dude. I'm going to have to buy another one of these outside just so I can get the rear tire, so I can get the right tire. That's going to be a bit of a mission. But anyway, we're going to do the tires at the end anyway. Uh, let's add all of these parts here that uh, we do have. All right, well, let's add all of these parts here. So this should be pretty straightforward. A lot of these parts I do already have, and we seem to have fixed a lot of these which is great so let's just bust a nut through this old finisher up because uh, we're almost done actually after this we're just gonna buy all the body parts which should be pretty simple to buy i'm still so pissed about the rear we kind of ruined it because of that but fingers crossed it doesn't look too bad oh luckily we already finished the front ones which is fantastic there we go we can uh Add those by mistake i kind of already did the front which is great we're flying through this looks like we have I was going to say we have every part apart from the front wheel hub. There we go. Pretty easy build here. And add that. Brake calibers. Boom. Boom. And now we can add the wheel. Uh, I just need to 
put the tires on the wheel so we're going to do that afterwards also before we move on make sure i put the rubber bushing in here otherwise the car won't start if it's one missing and she ain't gonna go anywhere she's just gonna stay there we're really busting through this at the moment uh super quick build to be fair last two builds i've thoroughly enjoyed uh, some of the builds are a lot more tedious, but I feel like because I have a lot of the parts bought up and I have kind of stocked up on a lot of parts and I don't have to always keep going into the shop back and forth, um, it's really streamlined the building process and kind of made it, made it a lot more fun for me because I'm like, yep, I have that part, I know I have that part, we're good with that. Just like the common using parts that I've bought a lot, for example, like these brake discs, I have a few of these, I actually need to stock up on these, I had maybe like six or seven. Um, because pretty much every single car needs one. Same with brake pads. I have a bunch of brake pads because, well, every build is going to need four brake pads. And the same goes for the calibers. I've kind of stocked up on a lot of this stuff. So, I, you know, making it making it a little bit more easy for myself. Right. So, let's add the correct wheels in the front. And the rear is going to be stupid because it's not going to... Wait a minute. No, never mind. It's going to still look stupid. What was I going to think? I could have maybe put like the... I could swap the alloys with the rear, but then the front would be... The front camber would be wrong anyway, so it wouldn't really matter. Um, basically, one of the side... One, one, either front or the rear is going to have a really bad looking camber. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. I'll figure it out, guys. Not maybe in this episode, but I really want to sort it out because this is going to be a freaking sweet, sweet build. So we've got one of the wheels balancing. One is completed. Uh, let's, let's, uh, wait a minute, why can't I add this wheel here? Oh, look at this, dude, I completely, I completely missed this. Yeesh. I would have given the, imagine giving the car back to the customer without putting the, uh, whoa, that would have been a, that would have been a proper accident would have happened and I would have been sued there, that would have been real bad. Okay, there we go, that's added. Let's get the other wheel. And uh, we're pretty much done with the wheels. Uh, I mean, kind of like the car almost. Uh, let me just add this one here. The interior of the car is... Well, not the interior. Kind of like the um, guts of the car. The, you know, the insides. Is, uh, it's all done. So now we're going to move the car. Uh, we're going to move to the garage entrance B. And uh, we need to take everything poopy off this. But I think everything poopy off this is already taken out, which is fine. Uh, now for this stuff, let's take the front seat out. Do I have any stuff here at all? Front seat. Uh, yeah, but I don't want to use that one. What about steering wheels? Do I have anything? No steering wheels. All right, so let's go buy some parts. There's a bunch of parts we can get. Look, there's like a stock one, facelifted, rocket bunny. We've got to go with the rocket bunny. Hopefully we can, uh, get everything here. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so I bought a few of the parts here. I don't know if I have everything because it looked like I missed a few of those. I don't know. So, stock, stock, stock. Does this matter? Don't think so. Uh, front window. Tinted or stock. I'm going to go with tinted. Uh, I must have overbought a few of these parts. We're going to go tinted. Uh, left mirrors here. Stock or painted. Uh, we're going to go painted. Because uh, then I can get a nice paint on that. I don't have any these. Rear or left fenders. Okay. We're missing a couple of parts here. I didn't get those. We can buy the Rocket Bunny one. There we go. So that makes it look pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I was missing a few parts here. Hopefully we can get these. I don't know. I wasn't able to see those. And then this one is stuck. This is kind of confusing. Huh. It looks like some parts there were there. Some parts weren't there. This is kind of really weird. Look. I'm missing like loads of parts here. What the hell? Engine cover, at least we have that. We'll put that on. Uh, yeah, let's go back to the shop here. What the hell? Okay, I definitely bought all the parts, and I think I overbought some of the parts as well, so uh, uh, that's fine. But here we go. We can get... So we're going to go... There's loads of different ones. There's like stock versions. There's a facelift version. And there's a Rocket Bunny. We're going to go with the Rocket Bunny stuff because, well, this this one already was kind of Rocket bunny out. Uh, stock facelift. We're going to go Rocket Bunny and same with uh, this one as well so can i add the front to this here's the hood uh we're gonna go oh this is oh and then the yo what okay and then we can add the rocket bunny one sheesh there she goes uh we're gonna add the rocket bunny okay okay this is, oh, we've got to do the same for this side as well. Rocket Bunny, there we go. Uh, let me just get away from the car. Can I stop? 
in that. There we go. Can, can I close that? No, that's the shit. How do I close this? I wanna, I wanna close you, sir. Can I, can I close the front bump? What the fuck? I can't close the bumper. That's weird. I don't know. That's like glitched out or something. What the actual hell? Okay, I think most of that is done. So now I really what? How am I meant to close this? Oh, whoa! That was trippy. Okay, I gotta touch it there. So I, I how, do, how am I meant to open this? I don't even. Oh, it's like, and then that's the hood. No, that is pretty trippy. I would have never guessed that. Okay, um, is, am I, have I got everything? Do I miss anything? There's like kind of these holes here. I guess that's just there. Uh, cool, 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 cool. God, that looks gorgeous. Just the rear looks stupid. Anyway, though, let's finish with this. Uh, we can add these bucket seats. Uh, I went for these, like, Lotus Elise bucket kind of seats. They look pretty, um, pretty race kind of seats. Steering one as well. We look at that. We've got a little, like, drift kind of race one. Great. We're going to move the car into the paint shop, and I'm going to paint it the color it is because I think it actually suits it really well. So, uh, we're going to totally go with this. <laughs> That looks super sick. Now, the rear looks really bad. You can see how bad it looks. It really needs to come out a little bit more. But that's the only thing really messed up with this. Apart from that, this thing is freaking beautiful. Yo. This thing looks gorgeous. Look at that. Holy shit, does that look nice. I really like that. Let me take it for a quick little spin. Just to see, you know, get, get the juices going. Get her out. Uh, we're going to go to the abandoned airport there. Because we can do some stuff there. Uh, there's a sway bar front end link B missing from the car. Oops. That's no good. You're telling me I completely forgot to put a sway bar. Oh, Jesus. I'm, I'm kind of bad here, guys. What did I forget to... Yep, right here. Look at this. Sheesh, dude. Who am I trying to kill? I can't... <laughs> the front steering wheel would have been... Dude, that guy would have had an accident. Can I drive it now? No oil. God, I'm all over the place today. I am all over the place. Let me open up the hood. There we go. Do I, mm, I'm so stupid. That's not where the engine is. The engine is in here. I have to take this off, and then we got to do this. And let's get some oil in there. God, dude, I'm all over the place. What the fuck? Okay, round number 10. Let's see. Here she goes. Let's test her out. All right, here we go. She's looking pretty clean. She's looking really clean. Just, I'm kind of sad about the back of it. It does look stupid. But apart from that, can we do a burnout? Not really. But look at this. This thing's nice. Especially from the front. It looks really mean. Oh, that. Okay, we totally just had a very bad crash. It kind of, it's, look how low it is, dude. You hit anything with this thing and you're scraping the body work. Dude, this thing is low. It's It should be scraping. It's probably scraping everything, dude. You could not drive this on street. I mean, you could take it to shows and stuff, but if you were driving this on the English roads, you couldn't. Like, potholes, like sleeping policemen, whatever they're called, dude, you would have wrecked this thing. But this thing's gorgeous. Really happy with how the way this car came out. Let me know what you think, guys. I think this was a pretty sweet junkyard to rescue. One of my favorite builds so far. I'll see you face to the next one. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. And let me know what you think, guys. Take it easy. Bye.